Sunday. It's a new week. And as you can see behind me, we have bags. We have the diaper bag. That means we're getting ready for Sunday food shopping. So we'll try to take you along. If not, I'll show you the haul afterwards. Sorry I didn't take you guys in with us, but definite time crunch today because it's raining. So as you can see, I am completely drenched from running in the rain and trying to get everything in. She's fine. I made sure to get her in first. Of course, didn't have an umbrella or anything, but that's okay. Little rain won't melt us. So we will see you at home. So today we got rotisserie chicken, some bananas, cottage cheese, peaches, the little waffles, chicken nuggets for her, whole lot of frozen stuff. So I like the Southwestern rice. I haven't had that in a while, so I picked some of those up. This is all string beans. This is all broccoli. Yes, it was on sale. Of course, I stocked up eggs. We have some shrimp burgers, turkey sausage, turkey meatballs. This was on sale. It was 90% ground beef, ground turkey, blueberry, blueberries, strawberries, the wraps, the egg wraps that Richie likes, Cheerios for Gemma. They had a sale on what is this called? Toothpaste. They had a sale on toothpaste. Milk. Some snacks for her because we actually ran out. Crystal Light. Oats for me and for Richie. Mustard. The ice sparkling water. Pickles. Fabric softener. Gum. Heart of palm. Mushrooms. Stevia. Tuna fish, some pasta sauce, some salsa, some paper plates that we needed. So uh, we are home. Everything's been put away. Everything's been made. Gemma's currently watching Baby First. Richie went with his dad and a couple of guys to the casino where they have a sports betting. So he's going to hang out there for the day. I just actually, early finished editing so we'll have that up on last week for you on this Tuesday and then of course it's Sunday so we're gonna go get our bath on today we're not doing any dinner right you're gonna get a bath we're gonna come home we'll have dinner at home today um I finished some paperwork for Richie because he's now gonna start physical therapy on his leg well his foot for the tear that he has as well as the planner's fasciitis and then that's done so he's got that tomorrow nothing crazy this week that i could see coming but you never know with us so if i don't have anything before then i'll give you guys a little wrap up at the end of the day well i told you guys i'd get back to you it's now sunday night <laughs> richie has been home for a few hours he came home with more money than he left with. So, thumbs up to that. <laughs> I always like when he comes back with more money. Anyone does when they go to the casino. So, it is 9 o'clock. We are calling it a night. Uh, little Miss Gemma's been in bed since about 7. And that's really it. So, until tomorrow. See you then. It's Monday night. We've made it through a Monday. All we ask is to get through Monday. Went to work this morning. Gemma slept pretty late today. Made her her eggs. I think I gave her apples this morning. She ate those up. Came down. Got her ready for the day. You know, we're a Jets family. So we had to put on our Jets today because it was opening day. So she had a little Jets outfit on. Which she totally destroyed at lunch. And then went through the day, everything was fine. Uh, I think her tummy was a little upset today. She got to see her popsicle, which is her grandpa. And then after work, we just did dinner. And of course, Richie threw a little wrench in my plans. I already had cooked 
turkey sausage and he goes but we want stadium food tonight the jets are playing it's opening night i was like all right so of course i didn't have hamburgers so he said that the shrimp burgers were going to be okay so we had those tonight um, I actually vacuumed and did some cleaning tonight before she went to bed because she started picking things up off the floor. You know how little ones can be. And that's about it. I am heading out to just get one or two things for the house. And then once I get in, I'm hoping to just relax and then call it a night. Um, Richie and I have been calling it earlier each night. I've been going to bed about nine, between nine and 10 just because she's been waking up at like six. No matter what time she's been going to bed, she went to bed at eight, she woke up at six. Nine, woke up at six. But I have been noticing that her sleep patterns during the day are a little off too. So she started to sleep a little later in the morning, like so she'll normally go to bed about nine, nine thirty. Now she goes to bed about 10. She doesn't wake up until 12. She barely takes an afternoon nap. Her afternoon nap, she just like lays there, maybe gets about 20 minutes and then that's it. So I think she's in that stage where she's going from two naps a day to like that one longer nap. So we'll see what happens. We're just gonna let it go and see what happens. We're not gonna force anything because we're just letting everything naturally happen with a little push, like for her walking, you know, we help her walk, we get her toys for that. But otherwise we're just gonna let it go. So again, that's it for Monday. It was a bit of a somber Monday because we do live in New Jersey and it is 9-11, so it's Patriots Day. And, you know, we do know people that were affected and people that have passed due to 9-11. So, somber day, but we all got through it. And tomorrow's a new day, so we'll see you then. Good morning, it's Tuesday. Figured I'd take you along this morning. So, <clears throat> I felt a little fell asleep a little early last night. Well, I should say early. It was like 10, 10, 30, which is actually later than it's been the last couple of days, which is good. Um, I made Gemma's eggs for this morning last night. So that's all done. I'm currently working on cutting up some rotisserie chicken for her. And then I'm going to put some, she likes the canned mushrooms. So I'm going to put some canned mushrooms in there. She's starting to wake up. She went to bed at a normal time. Daddy and I didn't. I went to bed before her, Richie. Richie stayed up. He was watching the Jet game last night. They went into overtime. Aaron Rodgers apparently killed his Achilles. So hopefully he'll be back. That's what we're thinking. So hopefully he'll be back. Otherwise, pretty sure his career is over. Just but not that an Achilles surgery or whatever would kill a career. He's just older. So it's retirement time, at least I think. But you never know with these guys. Um, so he didn't go to bed until like, what time did you go to bed? So he had an adrenaline rush after the punt return. And then he didn't go to bed until like 1 o'clock, 1.30. So he hasn't worked out yet. He's going to do that later. Um... I got his waters done this morning. Again, I'm making her lunch, pulling out her breakfast, her milk, and then um, I'm making some coffee. I'll be going to work shortly. So he walks in last night. I don't remember him coming to bed at all last night. Apparently I did shut off the light, he said, because I usually leave a little light on. So he proceeds to take a picture of me sleeping, which I will try to put right here for you. And as you can see from the picture, I am so exhausted that I even, you could tell that I didn't even know that anything was going on. Um, so that's really it for this morning. She's again stirring, so she's gonna get up any second. And then I have work, which I won't bother you with work stuff today. And then if anything happens, we'll pick you up this afternoon. If not, I'll give you a recap tonight. So see you later. So it is dinner time. Uh, Richie is doing some recovery. He's doing his stim. We're all eating the same thing and actually at the same time tonight, minus a few things, um, Gemma has a link of the turkey sausage that both Richie and I are eating, but she has zucchini, 
we have a little pasta sauce um, and I put in mine some mushrooms, but we both have the heart of palm pasta. So this is my dinner. It's the heart of palm pasta with the sausage and then some extra mushrooms. Hi everybody, it's Wednesday. We're gonna make this real short. Um, we are all on the couch right now. Richie, you decent for me to show you. <laughs> on. We're all, it's, he's on the couch. I'm in the armchair. Um, I just took a slight video of her laying with me. I just um, started a little bit of a fever. Richie's been not feeling good for the last day and a half. Um, she's just... I don't know if she's snuggly because she knows mommy doesn't feel good or she's snuggly because she doesn't feel good. Um, but she's not feverish or anything else. So that's good. Um, besides that, nothing else really happened today except for I have a, um, what's that called? A visitor upstairs who's probably not going to be alive much longer. Um, I found a bee today upstairs. Not a bumblebee, but one that stings you. Well, bumblebees can sting you. Oh, uh, you're going, ah, la, 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 la. She's going, ah, la, la, to make noise right now. So that's really all we're going to have for today. Hopefully tomorrow I have better news that we're all feeling wonderful. But I have a feeling it's going to be another short one. So we will see you guys tomorrow. Hi, everyone. So it is Friday. Um, as you can probably tell, I skipped Thursday. If you can't tell, I'm sick. <laughs> Um, so I apologize that we didn't have anything on Thursday, but yesterday I woke up, my throat was hurting, Richie was sick first. I then got, pro we probably got it at the same time, I just showed symptoms later, and then Gemma got sick. Today we took her at really early in the morning, and she got checked out by the doctor. It's all viral, not bacterial, so... I just ran out, got us something to eat, went to CVS, got some sucky candies for me. I got some ginger ale for his stomach. And then for Gemma, I got Pedialyte because she'll drink her milk, but she's not drinking anything else, which is usually okay, but she usually drinks some water. So I want to get her some water. So we're really going to leave it at that. I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. But I'll try to bring you along. Otherwise, it might be a little bit of a short uh, video this week. But thanks for sticking around, and we'll see you tomorrow. Hi, everyone. It is Saturday night. I feel like I have no voice left for being ill. Um, Gemma is asleep. She was a trooper. Her fever broke. Um, the highest it had ever been for us this time was 103. It was only viral, so we just had to let it run its course. She took, when I say she slept, she slept from like 7 o'clock last night to about 8 o'clock this morning. She was out. She took her two naps, and she did struggle going to bed at like 7 tonight. She was out by about 8.30, which was the darnest thing because she's sitting there sleeping and watching her on the monitor, and her left arm... She put through the little crib railing and it was hanging out there. And I was like, great. Now I got to go try to free her hand. So she fell asleep like that. But um, it was kind of cute. Richie is playing softball tomorrow. So he is getting his mind right. AKA just relaxing in the bedroom, playing some PlayStation. Uh, we are still doing um, therapy on his foot, leg, Achilles plantar fasciitis foot whatever it's called um he's doing his own pt at home he um part of his recovery that we're doing is massage therapy so we have i don't know what it's called but it's like a massage gun i, I would call it has different pieces to it so we started doing some of that tonight and he said it felt good so that's always a plus um, I'm just sitting here, as you can tell, with my, I call it my sick aids. I have my orange juice here. I have tissues and an empty box for the garbage. 
And then I have um, some, I couldn't find any throat lozenges that I like, so I got butterscotch just to keep me from coughing. And then something that I do, because my nose gets really red, is some Vaseline. I put it like underneath. Um, but it was hilarious because yesterday we went out to our normal place to get pizza and my sister-in-law works there. And I guess when I, let me tell you the story. I walk in and she go, I tell her what I need. She goes, I took that order. I didn't know it was you. So apparently my voice is so different on the phone because I'm sick and my ears are so clogged. I didn't hear that it was her. She couldn't hear it was me. And when I walked in, it was hilarious. So at least it was hilarious to me. It might not be hilarious to you guys. Um, we really just rested all day today. I did some cleaning. I'm trying to get all the germs out. It, it was a beautiful day today. We have windows still open. No air on, which makes me happy. Um, and then got all the laundry done. The only thing I have to do still is to strip the beds. But since we're all still a little sick, I don't want to quite strip them yet. And then like, yeah. So that's all we did today. We rested up. I don't know if I told you guys, but yesterday my in-laws, they had have a dog called Char Char. Um, they got him when he was 10, 11 years old, could be nine, they don't know. When uh, they got him and rescued him, he was literally chained up outside all day, which isn't nice. Um, so he became like king, like he got fed great, always going for walks. Well, his health declines and yesterday was the day that they put him down. So it's been a little bit of a rough week. Emotionally, physically, being sick. So hopefully next week will be a happier, fun week. So I guess we'll just have to see. So thanks for sticking around. I apologize if you can't hear me. Hopefully the voice will get better soon. Please subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Always, please leave a comment. I would love to hear from you guys. And like, until then, we'll see you next week. Bye.